Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick choose comparison between these two iconic models from Adidas. The first one is the Adidas Samba. The second one is the Adidas Gazelle. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my multiple looks that I create to go with these two shoes. Let's go. So these two iconic shoes from Adidas, they have rich history from the performance to the fashion world. Um, back then, these two shoes were designed and created for athletes. So they are for performance footwear. The one that have the most history is this Adidas Samba, were released in the 1949, originate designed for IC football field. Uh, that's why the also on this Samba is a pretty damn good actually. Um, this gives you a very good grip and also feel sticky. It's just wrap the ground, solid, stable. I didn't expect uh, the innovation on this also. It's keep up until this day. One of the oldest shoes model in Adidas. These shoes still have a lot of freshness in them. And um, the name Samba was, you know, is the name after Samba Dance. So go to the next one is the Adidas Grazelle. Grazelle were introduced in the 1966. Um, this one specifically though is the reissue on the 1991. Grazelle have ton of different models too, you know. Uh, but this particular one, why I bought it to compare with the Samba because I have a good history with the Grazelle. I used to dance on the Adidas Gazelle and also like the Gazelle have history with Rick Dancer as well and the name were after the US sprinter Wilma Rudolph. Um, she has the nickname is at the Black Gazelle so that's why it's the name come from. The shoes last on the Gazelle is a little bit narrow for me compared to the Samba so that's why I feel a little bit stiffness around um, the forefoot a little bit. My pinky toes, I have a bone that like rise up like unusual for human feet. And on the outsole of the gazelle, they have the micro shell hexagon pattern, uh, which is really cool. You know, first when I just saw this, I thought it's the honeycomb pattern. But when I read on the explore a little bit of the history on the gazelle, then um, they say it's micro shell hexagon pattern. They are both very similar style, you know. They have the T originate T toe overlay, and uh, on the samba, they basically is uh, almost like the T toe, but almost like uh, the wing tip toe because um, this one in the toe sway overlay on the samba is actually is not really maybe it's the W I don't know, or maybe wing tip, but almost like a T-toe like on and this one is the original T-toe. So the pricing on these two shoes, they are the same, which is the $100. I think it's pretty damn good. And they are very stylish as well. You know, casual wear, you can go that. You also can dress up. These two shoes, they both have serrated three stripe branding. And also next to it, as you can see on the Grazelle, they have metallic gold, the name of the shoes, Grazelle. Um, on the Samba, they basically have e-boss on the name Samba with metallic gold. And in the ice day, the same functionality is the you throw ice day. On the ice day of the Samba, they have a little bit different. They have extra hole for you to lace them up. The Samba have a little bit, you know, better detail, I guess, but they are very similar in the end of the day. On the Grazelle, it basically doesn't have that extra hole for you to lace them up. So let's go into the tongue on the Samba. It's the leather tongue with the screen print of Real Madrid Football Club badges. And on the Grazelle, there basically is the foam tongue, which is I hate the foam tongue the most on the this pair of Grazelle. Not really a fan of this tongue. Um, on the top of the tongue, you can see there's a tree foil. 
screen print in black. Um, to me personally, I think this tongue is way too long. You know, it keep kicking in my feet when I wear the shoe, uh, which is sometimes like I use scissors to cut them shorter. The tongue on the samba is pretty good. The length is just enough, so I don't feel any kick in on this samba. So the mustache on the back of the samba, they have ripped it detail. So in the back of the gazelle mustache have the tree foil screen print in black. Um, the color wise, they both are very well padded. I feel comfort around my ankle. However, the insole, I would prefer on the gazelle better because the gazelle insole, they have the arch support. You know, which is better for me, for my foot on the gazelle. Maybe I will swipe up. It just depends on the people's feet. Some people have high arch, some people have a low arch, or some people that have flat foot. So um, to me, it's better to have arch support on the gazelle. But just the differences, but they are very similar aesthetic and also very similar comfort but the traction on the samba is much better in my opinion so the also on this is the cup sole uh, compared to this also on the gazelle though it's the rubber vulcanite to me these two shoes are very similar they don't really have a big difference new book is cozy it feels like winter is coming um, this upper is fit for more into the upcoming season, which is the winter. However, though, I wear it in the summer too. It doesn't really matter on the material, but if you not really like the new bulk material that they use on this upper, then um, you would consider this a pair of Samba. Then mix with the smooth leather on the upper with the suede leather at the toe, uh, which is really nice, you know. The shape on the Samba, I think it's good for me because I have a wide feet. Both shoes are amazing in my opinion. Um, this is my first time that I own Samba, so I can't really tell how much I love this shoe. Styling with these shoes, I think is very easy. Basically, whatever you wear on the Samba, just wear it on the Gazelle. That's gonna look nice too, you know. Um, I love these two shoes because they are very stylish, very minimalist, and also everybody can rock them. Um, my mom can rock them and look nice too. Can you believe that? They are the same price, $100, uh, which is a very good price point for these two iconic shoes from Adidas. And up next, I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style them.
So there you go. This is my quick sneaker review on these two iconic shoes from Adidas, the Samba and the Gazelle. What do you think about these two shoes? Which one would you pick? Personally, I would pick both. If you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.